up, good agents? Hope you're doing well. And I'm testing this thing out called Ecamm Live. And it's, uh, I've had it for two weeks, but I finally got a chance to, to take a look at this. I'm always looking to evolve, right? We've tested out StreamYard and this one just seems to be really, really cool. I can see everything on the back end here really well. And uh, it's, it's looking pretty nice, but I also wanted to talk to you about a few things here. And that's really where the world is heading into. Uh, so first, I want to I want to test out some buttons here. Look at that. I love that. And this is my favorite, the DJ horn. You gotta love that. And also, uh, just in case you don't know who I am, right? It tells you right there as well, which is pretty cool. Look, you guys can take a look at so much here. There's a lot of overlays that you can use for for real estate. And it's important that you start looking at what else is next. Um, that's what we're doing all the time. We're looking at what, what we can do, how we can evolve, and let's get right into it. So I've been thinking how I can shift my team into this whole new world that, that we're heading into because we're not seeing the, the real ramifications of what's happening in, in real estate for probably not really three more months, maybe six more months into this once, once shit hits the fan. And we're preparing just in case stuff goes really wrong. And this way, my agents can be like, great, thank you so much for preparing us. So I'm hopeful that things will be amazing and we'll get out of this at, at, on a V curve. But just in case it looks more like a U or maybe like one of those L's that's kind of like not that great um, because we've never been through this. I'm preparing my team and I've outlined the things that we're going to be focusing on. And I wanted to share this with you. Number one, to get a buy-in from, from our team, from the agents that I work with, that, that are with me and that I lead, I've, I had to name this just so that people can remember what this is. So I named it Evolve 2020, right? So uh, it, it's like any other company that names their things. Like Keller Williams comes to mind. They named it Bold, right, to, to change. So the first thing you need to do is look at whatever plan you have and give a name to it. Our name is Evolve 2020. You can name yours whatever you want. Now there are five steps that I've outlined here that I'm gonna have my team go into and I wanna share those with you. So I'm gonna give myself applause. Excuse me for the camera. Uh, and the first thing we wanna look into is this. Dynamic ads for real estate. If you're not doing that already where you can remarket to your database, including your sphere, your past clients, your online leads that you're getting from Facebook through Street Text or Ylopo or Google AdWords that you're paying for, your PPC and Realtor.com and Zillow leads. If you're not retargeting them or remarketing them through Facebook and Instagram, then you're missing out. And so dynamic ads for real estate is absolutely an amazing thing because it costs probably like a hundred dollars for every thousand people in your database and people forget like that that's actually possible so facebook came up with dynamic ads for real estate probably about two years ago two and a half years ago and they've shifted it a lot and now it's an absolutely amazing thing that that you're seeing grow now and dynamic ads for real estate Two companies that I know personally for real estate do it well, so you need to look into these. Number one is Ylopo, and number two is Chime. Those are the only two that do it well for real estate agents. Obviously, Zillow does it for themselves and then sells you the leads. Realtor.com does it the, what, the same, and they sell you the leads. Uh, but why don't you do it for yourself and do the same thing with your database? So uh, the second part to this in your database may be something that you may have thought of and thought, well, that doesn't work anymore. And it's it's really MailChimp. And I'm gonna use MailChimp here because uh, it's free. I put it up there. It's free for up to 2,000 users. People tell me, a lot of people tell me, real estate, outside of real estate, because we consult both uh, real estate companies and outside of real estate companies. Tristan, email is dead. And I have to help them understand that email is not dead. The challenge is that what you're sending out is of no value. It has no value at all. So people aren't opening it. It just goes to their spam 
and they may look at it and they think, wow, this is trash. I'm never going to open this email again from this person. And so we have to think, how can we be relevant to our database and then specify who am I targeting here in my database? So we've got a database of 60,000 people. Uh, that's a lot of people that we have. So we've had to break it down into segments. And let's say I only want to target my past clients and those that have purchased with us. So that's a few thousand people. And when we do that, we're going to make sure that we're sending them information that that's quality. And one of the sites, one of the sites that, that we use here, let me pull it up here. One of the sites is called uh, Curbed. And for us, it's Curbed LA. Curbed LA gives us such great information. They write these articles that are very, very genuine and authentic and do some really great research in regards to that area specifically. So what we can do then is once a week when we're sending out our newsletter to our database, we include one or two articles from here along with some, some solid reading that makes people think from HBR, uh, Harvard Business Review. And then we throw in a video a video that, that's from us describing what's going on locally in the community, now it's genuine, right? Now it's not spam because it's relevant to, to what people want to listen to. One of my agents, his name's Luis, he's been sending out information to his clients and his clients love his emails. He's had a 76% open ratio because he sends them things like PPP information, EIDL information, PUA information, all relevant right? That's why 76% open ratio is no joke, but that's massive. And so that's what you have to start taking a look at and how you can design the newsletter to be appealing and have the right graphics. But look, going back to MailChimp, there's no reason you shouldn't be on MailChimp. It's free up to 2000 people. And after that, it doesn't even go up by that much. So take a look at that. The next thing is pre foreclosures. A lot of people are, are kind of slow to jump on it because they're like, well, we're not going to go there, are we? I'm like, well, look, it's better to plan now and start looking at an actual plan that you're going to take, an approach. How are you going to call? What scripts are you going to be using? Are you going to mail? Are you going to show up to their house? What tools are out there for you to be able to, to really engage with these people? How do you know who is going into foreclosure? Possibly, right? So it's important for you to take a look at one of the companies that we use is... Uh, is Realty Track. So you can see here Realty Track. That's who we, we've been using since 07, back in the day when we had all that happen. Uh, one of the people that we follow, uh, that we follow pretty closely, is um, Ray um, Dalio. Um, what's, his, what's that guy's name? Uh, Ray Dalio, I think it is Ray. And he says, Look, guys, we've never been in this world before. He predicted the 08 debacle, 07 debacle, and he 18, he's worth $18 billion. The guy's really connected all across the world through the economies. And um, he's saying, hey, look, this doesn't look very good. So let's prepare ahead to, to make sure that if this goes where I think it's going to go, at least we're prepared, right? And that's all I'm saying. So it's important to look at ahead and think, what are we going to do? What are the tools we're going to be using? And how are we adapting to this whole new world? So going back to Realty Track, that's where we find all of our pre foreclosures as well and I, I need you to start creating a plan and to start naming the plan and make a plan for this so don't just say hey yeah i can help you with if we get there i can help you with pre foreclosures or short sales have a plan have a name for it whether it's a post covid 19 restructuring plan or something simple like a restructuring plan right but the more you name it and i'll, I'll talk about it when i get to the next step the more you name it the more people can differentiate you from somebody else Right. Which leads me into the next one. You've got to look into doing a lot more things virtually or digital online through Facebook, through Zoom. One of the things that we've shifted over into immediately when this happened, we tested out online buyer seminars. So if you're local to me, you'll see a lot of our ads that go out for online buyer seminars and these buyer seminars. We, what we do is we go through Facebook and Instagram, Facebook feed, Facebook stories, Instagram feed, Instagram stories, and, and a few other blog sites like ESPN where we're blasting it out. And we're saying, hey, guys, this is a free online buyer seminar. You can come in. It's on Sunday at 1. And this is what you're going to learn. 
as soon as they click, we capture all their information because it's a lead ad through Facebook and Instagram. And then the Zoom link goes out to them. We engage with them before, try to see where they're at and if they're trying to purchase something soon or where they're at, what their motivation is. Now, when the day comes and they jump onto the Zoom, we remind them and we say, hey, don't forget today at 11 or today at 1, whatever time it is, we're going to be live and we're going to share with you this. Now, as soon as we go live, then we're able to show them uh, the whole presentation that we have. I have a few agents on the team. I have our lender on there as well. And so we use Zoom, the Zoom webinar portion of this, which is only 49 bucks. Um, pretty easy to use. But that's something we're shifting into along with the virtual open houses. So you've got to adapt to what's happening. And people are super comfortable with technology right now. At least most people are jumping onto Zoom. Zoom is now the 14th most visited website in the world. 14th, which is insane to me. I just looked it up yesterday. So uh, you look at that. And next, let's talk about for sale by owners. For sale by owners and expireds. But you've got to have the right data here. And we use Espresso Agent. Obviously, here you can take a look at that. Uh, Espresso Agent, you can use Vulcan 7, whatever. The key to this goes back to naming, right? It, it, it's got to be different. And people have to be attracted to this based on the name. So right now, I'll tell you what we're doing now. And obviously, it's going to change. But right now when we're calling for sale by owners the conversation sounds different than what it sounded before right the conversation sounds like this and i'm going to pretend i've got wayne salmons here so i'm just gonna hit him up uh hey wayne it's tristan uh i noticed that your property is still for sales or for sale by owner it looks like it's been on for about two weeks over here on zillow are you still looking to sell and they're like yeah yeah no problem and i always ask because sometimes they leave it through COVID 19 and it's no longer for sale right so that's why I asked. He says, yes, it's for sale. How can I help you? I'm like, great, Wayne. You're probably getting a lot of calls from a lot of real estate agents, but I'm calling you for a different reason here. I, I want to show you exactly how we're selling homes only to protect the community and to protect you because we've changed a lot over the last five weeks, six weeks. And so the th some of the things that we're doing are these items. And so I actually dictate them and say, hey, look, have you heard of Matterport, you probably haven't. Let me show you. After we go through the things that, that we do differently, then we say, look, just to help you out, Wayne, I'm going to email you everything that we use and I've itemized it for you. This way, if you want to go ahead and do it on your own, you can. You don't even need me. I'll even put the escrow officer, the title executive, and the lender that I use that I know are currently working right now. So this way, it makes your life a lot easier. And if you do need me, right, go right ahead and use me so then we send out that email we follow up with them uh, and people are responding a lot better than me just reaching out and saying hey do you want to list your home because i'm the best agent in town it's got to change now when they engage with me i say great wayne uh, thanks for listening so here's here's where we're a little bit different we actually have a plan for this it's called it's called the EHC plan. So it's, it's a real plan that we put together. We had to name it. Again, here we go with the name to differentiate ourselves. It's called the EHC plan. It stands for Equity, Health, and Contract, where we're still focusing on marketing your home and we're trying to focus on bringing you the most money as possible, right? Equity. and health, we're really vigilant as to how things are changing. And we know that all throughout the country, different counties are responding differently. And here's what we're doing to protect you and keep you healthy. Right. And here's the contract that we have just to make sure that we keep everybody legally safe. It's a one page document. And of course, we're still helping you with the contracts and disclosures. But that's our EHC program. And you don't have to say anything and be like, have you ever heard of this program? Of course they haven't. But by you just saying it, now you just differentiated yourself from everybody else. Is there the only one with the actual plan? Right. So for sale by owners, expires same way. And then. Lastly, we're, we're shifting really big into online leads. When we talked to Facebook last week, uh, so Nick and I talked to Facebook weekly and uh, they told us, hey, we're up 70%. Our engagement is up 70% on Facebook, which is massive. On stories, we've gone from 500 million stories in a day, 500 million stories on Instagram a day to over 700 million in one day. So. It tells me that a lot more people are on social and do this. Do me a favor when you're out there right now, go 
and take a look at, uh, go to Google, type in most visited websites in the world, and you'll see number one is gonna be Google, number two is gonna be YouTube, right? Number three is Facebook, number four is Twitter, who knew? Number five is, don't worry about number five, number six is Instagram. But what you notice is a trend here, the whole world online has shifted to be social media. And so you think, where am I getting my leads from? It's got to be a combination of Google, because it's number one, and the rest of them, which are what? Facebook, Instagram, right? But look, there's my YouTube page. If you want to subscribe, I actually had that. I wanted to test it out to see how this worked, uh, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, that's how it looks. So think about this. From everything that, that I just listed to you in those top six, you have Google, which is a search engine. It just leads you to places. And then the other ones makes you think, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Why aren't you on one of those heavy, heavy, heavy? For us, it's Google. We go all in on PPC, and we've identified which areas we want to target through PPC, AdWords, and SEO. And then Facebook. We go all in on Facebook lead ads. So you see, if you're in our area, you're gonna see our ads everywhere. And that goes back to the very first thing, which is the remarketing through dynamic ads and real estate. Dynamic ads and real estate is just getting started. That's something that was created specifically for real estate so that your ads, your IDX feed, and all of your videos, anything you want, can be retargeted, remarketed on Facebook, and Instagram to this massive audience that's there. It can be targeted to your database or it could just be targeted to anybody in general that, that you have that you're targeting. So guys, it, it's time to shift a little bit. I hate using the word shift. It's time to adapt to the world that we're in. So just make sure that you are taking the right steps and you are planning out what you need to do because at the end of the day, it's only up to you. And if you're not changing now, it's going to be too late three months from now when uh, when the shit hits the fan, if it does. And if it doesn't, the good thing is you shifted. Damn it, there's that word again. You adapted. You adapted and you changed, right? Because one thing is constant, everything's always changing. Let's see if this horn works. <laughs> Hear that horn or not? Give me some hearts if you did. If not, oh well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you being on and uh, checking me out. I'm using Ecan Live right now. It's E C A M M live. Take a look at that. Have an awesome day.